I, did, I tell you the truth, I didn't get tested until 1989. I had a roommate who was HIV positive and um, he asked me, so have you been tested? And I said, no. He goes, why? And I, and I said, I, I, can't, I can't endure that pain of waiting for those two weeks. I wouldn't know what to do with myself. And he said, well, this is what you do. You, uh, you convince you have it as soon as you come out of there. And so those two weeks you work on, I have it. And if you go to the test and you have it, well, you already knew. And if you don't, then you go party. Well, you party anyways, he said. I mustered the courage one time. And it was the worst two weeks of my life in some ways. I came the day of the test and I was so nervous. I walked in, there was a bunch of people. I went inside and, you know, you have to, it's like a confession. I'm Catholic, well, I grew up Catholic. I'm not Catholic anymore. And it's like, you know, might as well would have been on my knees when I was telling the guy the reasons I was coming in there. And trying to be not judgmental, but still. And he's telling me, well, from now on, you have to wear condoms, you have to do this, you know. I was relieved, but at the same time, you know, I was, um, I, felt like, I felt like guilty as hell. Because I had so many friends who were positive, and it's like you have the survivor remorse, right? I had it immediately. So I did go out party. <laughs> I told a story for Queers in Your Ears about my friend, Daniel, um, living with AIDS until he died. And so I, I was his caregiver. Until the, until the last breath. And um, um, he taught me how to die. And a lot of, a lot of people in the community taught us how to, how to live until they die. There was, you know, that, uh, that incredible lesson. Yeah, it would have been about 96 or 97. I went to a TV show. It was a, it was a talk show um, in Tele Latino where there was this guy brought myself and a guy called Demetrio Salazar who is Maria Del Monte, he still does shows. Uh, him and I had worked for the Center for Spanish-speaking people and on the board, and we, we were instrumental in getting the AIDS program happening for the Latino community. And um, we went to a debate, and so there was the, this man who was very gay positive, Manuel Bianchi was his name, extremely gay positive man. He was a pastor from a, a, some sort of church, and he had a couple of people from a very religious community on the other side, and they were quoting the Bible and this, and both Demetrio and I were like real Catholics. Demetrio was, was, had studied to be a priest, so he knew the Bible too. So we were refuting and we were saying things and we were like, and then we felt pretty good about ourselves because we won the debate. But I get home and in my answering machine, there's a couple of messages from my mom saying, what are you doing on TV? Because <laughs> her friend called her and alerted her and that's why I came out. And, that, and you know what, I realized, my God, I just got my mom out of the closet. Because now my mom has to tell her friends, I have a gay son for sure. And like, oh. We fought. We created a lot of things. We went to all the rallies. It was bloody and insulting and, and risky. And, and people lost their lives. But that's just a moment in history like anything else, right? We're all enjoying that moment too. I mean, I'm really enjoying the freedom. <laughs> I'm enjoying the freedom of my partner. We got married, you know. But it's, I think it's important to have that dialogue so younger people realize that, yeah, there's something happened. There was a fight. You don't go to the vigil, so what? Okay, fine. You don't know who uh, Gerald Hanlon or uh, George Smitherman, you don't know all those names, so what? Okay, well, a lot of people don't know a lot of stuff, right? But I'll tell them. <laughs> if they want to know, I'll tell them. I'll tell them a story.